था What is up YouTube, this is Chris with the Model B Trust 360 and today I'll be bringing you guys my HD PVR recording settings and actually my Sony Vegas render settings. So this is going to be kind of a detailed video, kind of a lengthy video, but if you stick with me you can get my sexy quality very easily. Um, so first off, I want to show you guys, um, this is the interface of my PVR, but before we get started with that I'm going to show you guys why I haven't been online in forever because if I try to connect to Xbox Live as you see here, we'll just wait for this to actually complete. Uh, we'll just sit here and watch this awesomeness happen right here. Um, so as you can see, I've been suspended until 5-15-2011, so I've got five more days until that. So it shouldn't be too, too long, guys. I mean, yeah, I know you guys miss me and you guys love me, but yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, sometimes you get suspended for stuff that you really should get suspended for, and I appreciate for Microsoft for doing that because I'm a game gamer before a modder, and uh, if they see me modding, by all means hit me with a suspension. I mean, that's all good. That's what they're there to do, so I kind of appreciate that. So basically, uh, in the interface of ArcSoft uh, Total Media Extreme, what you're going to do, you're going to make sure your video input is YPRPB, which is, I find the best. Audio input is RCA back. Your PC audio mode is at two channel stereo. And then down here, make sure you have PS3 selected, even if you don't have a PlayStation 3. Uh, I have an Xbox, and it just records just as good. Just as good. Make sure you have hardware acceleration checked, and make sure you enable preview on recording. This is for uh, slower computers. If you have a slower computer, um, always check that. that. That ensures there's no like recording lag or anything like that. Now, I don't have a bad computer at all. I could easily enable preview on recording, but I do not like to do that. So once you have all that done, go in here into device settings, and uh, under this right here, under the video PROC amp, um, just have the brightness at 134, the contrast at 128, the hue at 128, the saturation at 128, and the sharpness at 128. I think those are default, I'm not completely sure, but that's just what I have there. Um, for the video standard, you need to have NTSC underscore M, um, so it should automatically uh, show up here, signals detected 1, lines detected 720. This means you're getting 1280 by 720. Also, make sure VCR input and output enable are also uh, checked. So we can click OK, and we're going to our format settings. This is where we're actually going to get into the format of our uh, recording. So here, um, what you're going to do, the quality uh, and the bit rate, make sure that's 13.5 megabytes per second. Uh, make sure you have that set to constant bit rate. Make sure boost analog and disable bling LEDs are both not checked. Uh, your Luma is going to be set to 3, your Chroma is going to be set to 3, and make sure you use AC3 audio encoder. So just go and click OK. So once you have all those settings, we're pretty much done with ArcSoft, so uh, we can go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to open up Vegas, and I'm going to show you guys um, what I do in Vegas whenever I have my uh, clip already recorded and ready to uh, render. So let me go to Vegas. I, I didn't have this open at the beginning of the tutorial because I kind of just jumped into this because it's this is actually a, a very highly requested video of people wanting to know my render settings. So I decided for all the people with HD PVRs, here you go. And even with these render settings, you can actually use these for maybe your Dazzle or your Diamond VC500 or some, just any other low-grade standard, standard definition capture card to make your quality a little bit better. So I'm just going to go up here, File, Import Media. And I'm just going to import a clip randomly. So I'm just going to my Videos, HD Clips. And here's the COD4 mods. Uh, this fail, I got 99% missed one note on Expert on this song, which I call it a fail. I mean, it was a pretty good, pretty good run at it, but and I consider it a fail. So that's actually kind of long. I don't want to wait for that to actually render out. So I'm just going to open up this COD4 mod. Um, so I'm going to just drag this down into our timeline. Uh, once this is in our timeline, there's a lot of things we actually have to do before we get into the actual editing part of the. Uh, whole thing. So up here above your preview, you're going to have this little, uh, looks like a little pointer, so you can click that, and you're going to bring up your uh, project property menu. So uh, for this, uh, you're going to want to create your own custom template, uh, which I've done here. Uh, make sure your width is 1280, height 720, your field order is going to be at non-progressive scan, your pixel aspect ratio will be at 1.0000 square, output rotation at 0 degrees, your frame rate will be at 59.94. Now, the uh, the way I go by this, if you're using all the settings in this video, make sure this is at 59.940 
because this is actually what you're recording at when you record with DHDPR with the settings I just now told you. Um, so make sure stereo, uh, stereoscopic 3D mode is off, uh, pixel format 8-bit, full resolution rendering quality best, of course. Uh, your motion type is going to be Gaussian. Uh, your de-interlace method will be none. Make sure you have adjust source media to better match the project or rendering settings checked. And you're pretty much good to go. Um, to do this, to actually save your own template, just name this whatever. I'll name this uh, maybe YouTube. We'll name this maybe, let's see here, YouTube HD 720p or something like that. And you'll click this save template. So uh, actually I actually already have this saved, so I'm not going to override it. So I'm just going to click cancel. But when you do that, you save it. You don't have to go down this drop down menu and select it there. So once you have that, just go ahead and click OK, and that's going to apply it to your actual uh, your actual project. So uh, still, we're not done quite yet. Before you do any editing, this is what I always recommend: always right-click your clip, click Properties, make sure you uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio, check Reduce Interlace Flicker, and click Disable Resample. That's the only thing you need to do in those uh, video properties. When you do this, please make sure you right-click on the uh, video clip and video clip and click properties because if you right click on the audio you're going to get completely different settings and that's really not going to help you out at all so uh, once you have that um, pretty much what you need to do go click here which is the event pan and crop um, so I actually have a template already uh, saved for HD clips what this does it actually as you can see I don't know if you can really see it here uh, there's black lines around my actual uh, my actual project um, as you can see here there are black lines so to actually edit this what you're going to do you're just going to make sure both of these are unchecked uh, lock aspect ratio and size about center make sure both of those are unchecked uh, maybe you just drag that in a little bit and you're just dragging your corners so say you want it like this just enough to get rid of the black lines so the black lines are essentially gone so what you do you just name it whatever you want and then save it as a template I already have my template saved here which is HD clips which is the settings that I already had uh, uh, done for my uh, actual HD PVR um, so once you have that done, what you're going to do, you're going to go to Video Effects. And this is where we're actually going to drag in, in, our, uh, in our stuff. So I always drag in Color Corrector. Just drag in Reset to None. Really don't do anything with this. What this does, it kind of boosts the colors. I don't really edit any of this because it kind of makes it look weird if you do. Uh, so just drag in Color Corrector, Reset to None, which makes it look very decent. Go down here, uh, drag in Sharpen. And that's going to really sharpen up your clip, make it look a lot better. Um, I always leave it at 0, 0.000 because actually when you add sharpen it kind of decompresses when you render so, and also when you upload uh, YouTube decompresses it even more so uh, always leave it at 0. 0.000 and you're going to get the best quality possible so once you have all these steps done what you can actually do is you can edit your clips so say you just want maybe that's this last little bit right here so you're going to click S to split it delete that and there you go you got your really small clip all your uh, settings done to it and everything. So now you're ready to render. So let's go up here to file, click render as, and this is where we're going to get to my render settings. So uh, what you need to do, save top as, you need to go to main concept ABC AAC MP4, click that, and then click custom. Now this is actually um, the one I have uh, already created. Again, whenever you get done creating this, just name it and save it. Um, so uh, when, you're, when you're in the videos tab of the render settings, just make sure include video is checked. Um, frame size, custom frame size, width 1280, height 720. Make sure allow source to adjust frame size is unchecked. Profile is at main. Frame rate is 59.940000. The reason this is, is that's what we recorded in. So of course you need to keep that pretty constant to keep your um, quality uh, the best it can be. So uh, make sure allow source adjust frame rate is selected. Um, field order not, not, none, progressive scan, excuse me. His pixel aspect ratio 1.0000 number of re reference frames 2 make sure to use the blocking filter is unchecked uh, make sure variable bitrate radio button is checked and have maximum at 13 million five hundred thousand and average is at 13 million five hundred thousand uh, right now I'd like to apologize I totally messed up and a lot of that uh, kind of stumbling over words but um, I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible because I know I've got about 15 minutes to do this and I don't know really what I'm at now. Um, but uh, kind of explain this, the reason this is at 13,500,000, this is pretty much 13.5 megabytes per second, which is what we recorded in. So that's why that has to be exactly like that. So when we go to our audio, uh, make sure to include audio is checked. Your sample rate is at 44,100 and your bit rate is at 128,000. Project 
make sure your video rendering quality is at best and that's all you need there so go ahead and click OK once you've saved that I, I have HD clips edit now you're ready to just click save and that's going to render it out so I'm not really going to do that because I have no use for this clip at all but I'm just going to click cancel on that and yeah guys uh, those are my recording settings my pre editing settings and my render settings so hopefully you guys enjoyed this probably be able to have HD PVR if this helps you out let me know uh, these are really good settings uh, as you can tell from my videos so if you like this if you use it let me know leave a video response showing the quality if you have HD PVR if you don't have one show me kind of what these these settings done but also do remember if you don't have HD PVR and you're not recording in 59.94 frames per second it's gonna look a little weird because the whole setting thing is kind of get kind of going to get messed off. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this again. Sorry, I'm kind of uh, lagging this on, but again, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.